welcome to Hot Weekly. Hello, everyone. I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Haunt Weekly, a weekly podcast for the haunted attraction, haunted, haunted entertainment industry. <laughs> way to fuck it up out of the gate, Jonathan. Just <laughs> get the fuck up out of the way early. It's going to be one of those episodes, guys. I'm sorry. We're a weekly podcast for the haunted attraction, haunted entertainment community. Whether you're an actor, owner, or just plain aficionado, I can say aficionado, fine. We aim to be a podcast for you. Mm-hmm. And look, guys, I'm going to be straight with you. This is going to be a heavy episode. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to bury the lead. I don't want to fucking hide behind things. This is going to be a sad episode with lots of swearing and lots of dejectedness. If you listen to this podcast because we're two upbeat people who talk about haunting. Right. Maybe switch off now. I'm not even kidding. No. If you switch off and the viewing numbers or li- viewing numbers, listening numbers <laughs> for this episode suck, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I get it. It's cool. We'll be back. We got some excellent shit planned for episode 200. Come back for that. Yes. But unfortunately, episode 199, which was supposed to be um, an early news episode, right? So we could get that out of the way and do some cool stuff for 200. That uh, did not work out because we got some very bad news this week. And if we're going to do an episode of Haunt Weekly, the only Haunt-related thing we can talk about for an hour is the fact we've had to cancel our 2019 season. Yeah. And there's just nothing else. I mean, I, I, I couldn't... You'll understand in a minute. We'll talk more. Look, we're two grown people on the verge of tears who have been less than sober for the past 48 hours and are still dealing quite poorly with everything. But um, we're going to talk about it. We're going to open up. And yeah, so that's what you're getting this episode. Um, If you want to do the happier stuff, you can (laughs) find them at our website on hauntweekly.com or hauntweekly on Twitter, hauntweekly on Facebook. YouTube.com slash Haunt Weekly has all of our previous episodes on our YouTube channel. Most of those are very happy. Yeah. Go play one of those. Yeah. It's fine. You, yeah. you can hang out with us there. We're much better spirits for most of those. Mm-hmm. You can also find us at iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, wherever finer podcasts are distributed. Now, we are going to go into the conference reminders. Right. Because we do want to keep our rhythm and keep our usual things. Right. And then we got a quick update on episode 200. Yes. And then we're going to get into it. That's the plan, right? <sighs> yeah. All it right. Is. So, conference reminders it is an odd episode. Crystal, take it away. Okay. This weekend, September 28th through the 29th, it's Scary Dad's Haunted Halloween Show Part 3 in Houston, Texas at the Crown Plaza Hotel, Houston Galleria. Tons of vendors. Tickets are just ten bucks. Go if you are in the area. Why haven't you bought a yeah, ticket well, yet? If, if you're um, in, if you're in the Houston area and you're not like going to this, no, yeah. that's, that's on you, man. Seriously. Yeah. Hosted by the Scary Dad Podcast, NightmareRetreat.com for more info. All right. Also, this weekend, if you're not in Houston, but say maybe in the Phoenix-ish area. You can go to the Arizona Haunts Haunted Swap Meet, September 28th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Metro Center Mall Northwest Entrance, hosted by the Arizona Haunters Forum, hauntedswapmeet.com for all the deets. Okay, and then October 4th and 5th and the 11th and 12th, so the first two weekends in October, Mm -hmm. the Lost Souls Chicago Bus Tour will be doing its thing. The locations vary. The tours have been announced, and you can find them at LostSoulChicago.com. We know for a fact that someone's bought a ticket from listening to this podcast. Yes. Thank you, TJ. I'm sure they will love to have you. Yeah, um, TJ will be an excellent addition to this. I, yes. I, I expect great things from this. Yeah. God, you know, two night pass is $240. Right. You can't go to the goddamn haunts that cheaply. You can't, and it's it is a oh really God. good time, and it is better than VIP experience. 
It is. When they say that, they're not kidding. It's true. I mean, not only are you getting a haunt list curated by someone we respect very deeply, Japes Pals, but you're getting travel to them. Yeah. Entertainment on the way there. And someone else is handling all the logistics. Yeah. And they're giving out prizes. And prizes and, oh my God. Yeah. You know, how are you not doing this? Speaking of, of which, we need to come back to that later. So, okay. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about now? Yeah. Maybe we should do prizes. Say that again? Yeah. Nothing. Anyway, All it's, right. it's late on Sunday. It is late. We are recording late. I apologize for that. We, if we sound drunk, it's because we're tired, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, we have been drinking, but we're not drunk, we're tired. Yeah. There's a difference. All right, wrapping up the conference reminders. In Atlanta, Georgia, November 8th and 9th, it's the legendary Haunt Tour at the Gwinnett Place Hotel. That's just where you're meeting, though. Yep. The tour will be hitting various haunted attractions, including Netherworld Haunted House and Atrox in Leeds, Alabama. LegendaryHauntTour.com. That's two T's there. you got to watch that for more information. All right. Now I'm closing the show notes. Yeah, we're done with show notes. Now we're going off the rails. We're off the rails this week, and I apologize for it, but realistically, there wasn't any show notes to write. No. Um, and here's the thing. First, we want to talk about episode 200. The, yes. It's kind of hard to talk about something that's happy and celebratory this week, but episode 200 is the next episode. Yes, it now, is. Now, we've planned the topic. Okay. At least we've tentatively planned the topic. <laughs> Jonathan's planned the topic. Crystal's in the dark. <laughs> no, I talked to you about this. I'm sure you did. We're each going to pick um, 10 episodes right. of our favorites. And yeah. we're going to have some overlap. Yeah. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about probably between 13 and 17 of our favorite episodes. And basically we're going to divide them into three categories. The overlaps, the ones we both agree are yeah. our favorites. The ones I think are my favorites, the ones you think are your favorites. It's going to be fun. It's going to be lighthearted. It's going to be great. Yes. Lighthearted I mean, is good. It's going to be all the happy stuff. And along the way, we're going to have a giveaway. Yep. Now, here's the thing. What we're going to do in episode 200 is we're going to start the episode with a question. Am I telling you what the question is? No! You... I don't know if we're starting it. We might hit, sneak it in in the middle. Oh, yeah, it could be anywhere. you got to listen sure to the whole episode. Make sure that you listen. Yeah, you got to listen to the episode. You're right. It could be in the beginning. It could be in the middle. It won't be in the end. That wouldn't make any sense. Maybe there's multiple questions. Maybe. Who knows? But we're going to have a question. And the idea is this, is if you comment on Facebook or Twitter or even no, email. don't comment. Send us yes. an email via our form. That way you don't give away the secret. Okay, that's you true. You don't give away the answer. That's true. Good point. We're going to hash out all the details in this, but we're going to have a question. You're going to send it to us privately, either private yeah. message on Facebook yeah. or private message by email yeah. with the correct answer. And it's going to be self-contained. Yes. It's going to be a question from the episode. Exactly. Um, send us that answer. Yeah. And Crystal will be sending you a handmade prize. Yes. And if you came to the haunted house last year during HauntCon, it's not the same price. It is new. Yes. It'll be of a similar vein. Yes. Similar size, similar scope. Right. But different. Exactly. So, if you're in the mood to collect Crystal's handmade prizes, <laughs> that sounded dirtier than I intended. <laughs> no. That no, was didn't. fine. That was fine. But if you're in the mood to collect her handmade prizes, you have to listen to episode 200, answer the question, message it to us. Right. And we will need your name and mailing address. And then we'll contact you, getting the main name and mailing address. Yeah. And at some point in the next couple of weeks, you will get a handmade present from Crystal because she's got something pretty cool planned. I can't give it away right now. Right. So basically make plans to spend the hour with episode 200 with us as we go through some of our favorite episodes. And maybe, maybe we'll make a playlist on YouTube of yeah. the episodes that we cover. Oh, that's a cool idea because, that you just came up with. Yeah, no, I just made that up right oh, yeah. now. Because I can do that very quickly. The episode 200 playlist. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. So that's some pretty cool stuff. But no, that's what we're doing for episode 200. Um, it's kind of weird because it's like episode 200, even though it's bigger than episode 100. Yeah. It's like episode 100, we were surprised we made it that far. Uh-huh. I mean, can you blame us? <laughs> we were you, surprised we made it to 10. <laughs> have you listened to this podcast? <laughs> yes, there were lots of fights in the beginning about... 
Are we kids still doing this? Yes, we're still doing this. Yeah, and now here we are, 200 episodes later. I swear it's to God. It's kind of like it's... the haunt. Yeah, it is. Um, so, yeah. Um, but this one feels kind of like, yeah, of course we made it to 200. I mean, duh. Yeah, I mean, 100 was easier than we thought. Now, 200, it's like, I don't even remember the last 100 episodes. I really don't. I'm going to have to really look for these yeah, we're favorites. Gonna have to go th- you and I are going to go through the site, spend some time this week, and pick yeah. our favorites. I've got a few in mind already. I'm sure you do, too. Yes, and if you have your favorites, yes, absolutely. we want to hear about we're them. We're taking what are suggestions. your favorites? We are easily manipulated. Yes. <laughs> your favorites have a very good shot in making the list. Yes, So let us know. Haunt Weekly on Facebook, Haunt Weekly on Twitter, hauntweekly.com. Let us know. Yes. We're eager to hear it. It would be a nice distraction from the rather rough past few days we've had. Yeah. And that brings us to the topic du jour, I believe. It does. Um, so, yeah, we got about 40 minutes <laughs> on this. Oh, God. Good fucking luck to us. Um, this will make it real. Yeah. Um, long story short, we are being, I, I, I say effectively forced, because we are. Yeah. To cancel our 2019 season. Yeah. And there's no polite way or nice way or sugar-coated way to say it. No. Um, we've been in touch with the city since July, mm-hmm. basically since they cut the sidewalks <laughs> before well, they even started digging up the road. Yeah. Well, let's 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 tell the full story. Let's go all the way back to uh, I think 2018s when this really began. It did, yes, because, because we went to a meeting. Yes. We went to a meeting that said, we're going to fix all of your roads. Okay, the long story short is this, and this is going to sound really weird. Um, New Orleans got a crap ton of money after Hurricane Katrina right. to fix infrastructure. Yeah. Including infrastructure, including roads. And we do need it. We do need it. Um, and it's not that the roads were necessarily damaged in Katrina, it's just kind of how it shook out. Yeah, something water table, pipes came up. I don't understand all of it. Uh, But long story short, even though Katrina was 2005, the city, the state, the federal government, the various layers of bureaucracy, the money didn't become free to use until 2018, basically. Right. Like the final okay start work didn't begin until 2018. So you're right. We attended that meeting. Yep. And... They talked about they, the launch of roadwork.nola.gov. Right. I mean, if you want to follow along with us, you can pull up the website roadwork.nola.gov right now. Yep. It's public access, public information. You're free to join us on this, this fun brigade we're going to have. Oh, God. And here's the address to type. It's a search function. We're in, it's 44 Vivian, V-I-V-I-A-N, court, and it'll pull it up from there. Um, yeah. That's all you really need. You don't need a New Orleans, Louisiana, because it's roadwork.nola.gov. NOLA being New Orleans. It, 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 just trust me. You don't need the full everything else. No. 44 Vivian Court is all you need. And you can see what's going on. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. Um, long story short, went to the meeting. They said we're going to fix a bunch of streets. They had not announced the streets at that time, but they announced the website where things were being hosted at, and we started watching it. Right. Now, very quickly... We did observe that our court was designated for repairs. Yes, for ex- uh, for moderate repairs. Yeah, and that's one of the things I want to begin with. Is we were first told we were getting, I think it was incidental road repair was the term. Right. Um, incidental, my aching ass. <laughs> by incidental, you mean you're incidentally removing our fucking road? Yes. It might be in a mood, guys. I'm sorry. Yes. Well, you warned them at the beginning, so I just figured I would would break the ice. (laughs) But my God, okay. We were told it would be incidental road repairs. Now, here's the thing. I want to describe the layout of our immediate neighborhood so everyone can follow along. Right. Just in case you weren't here. Yeah. And you're probably not. Um, Vivian Court is, as the name might designate, a court. (laughs) Yes. It is a horse shape. It is a horseshoe, basically. Horseshoe, yeah. You said horseshoe. It's not shaped like a horse. No, it's not. It's a horseshoe. Or or a boop. If we have time at the end, I want to tell the story <laughs> of the naming of the cord. Yeah. It's, it's, it's worth it. That'll end us on a light note if I do that. Won't that's it? good. We'll do that. Okay. So stay tuned through the depressing shit for something that's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, 
All right. It's a cord. Both ends connect to a road called Huntley, H-U-N-T-L-E-E drive. It goes in our stretch, in our, our stretch, basically north and south. Yeah. And Huntley starts going east and west and horseshoes around back on itself. Yes. Now, just north of us is a road called Anson, A-N-S-O-N. Yeah. And it's basically a major through pair. It connects at Huntley at a 90 degree angle. Right. And it basically it runs through the entire neighborhood. All right. Now, we noticed that Huntley was marked for incidental road repair, as yes. was a section of Anson. Right. But another section of Anson was designated for basically complete motherfucking tear out. Right. I don't know what their term for it was, so I'm calling complete motherfucking tear out. Exactly. I'm a scientist. <laughs> I believe in a sp- very specific... Yeah, I think it was major, con- major reconstruction. Complete repavement. Yeah. And so they came by and they did that section, the, the complete tear-out section of Manson, and that section needed it. Yeah. Okay, Vivian Court needs work. Don't get me wrong. No. But that section of Anson, we have a friend of ours who literally tore out both the transmission and the muffler on his Volkswagen... Right. Going over that road. I'm not even exaggerating. No. At a slow speed. Yeah, because basically for a while they had a weird traffic diversion that went over it. Yeah. And there was this giant, I don't know how to describe it, a bump? Mound? It's like a, a pyramid with the top cut off. A trapezoidal. Trapezoidal <laughs> bump in the road, yeah. It was like the world's worst speed bump, but it like wasn't Like the widest planned. speed bump, too. Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't planned. It just somehow happened. Yeah. And so long story short was, um, if you went over it too fast, you'd make a pretty cool spark effect as you went yeah. over it. Yeah. And that's how he managed to strip out both, like I said, his transmission and his muffler. Uh-huh. I don't know. The car apparently made it home, but not much further. Yeah. It's my understanding. Um, so yeah, that needed the complete tear out and repay and then all that stuff. It needed it. I was glad it got it. Yeah. And dear God, they actually did an A-OK job on it. Yes, they did. They did an A-OK job. So we saw that they did that and that they were marking the Anson further down the line on the other side of Huntley, basically, for incidental road repair and Vivian for Hunt- incidental road repair. And we're thinking, cool, they're going to bring the pothole filler and maybe level some areas out or whatever. Fix right. some really rough patches. Because, I mean, yeah. come on, right at the end of our driveway, right we meet the exactly. street. We have this stupid low area. Yeah, where we get a lake. Every time it rains. Yeah. You pee in the wrong place on our street. You get yeah. a lake. I mean, we had a lake so long that we had a duck come and live in it. Hey, we're not talking about George. George was awesome. I thought it was Howard. Oh, that's right. It was Howard. George came later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Howard the Duck was uh, the one immediately following one of the hurricanes. I don't remember which one it was. Right. But yeah, we had a, a pond for about two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and, and Howard took up residence. He was great. We liked Howard. Yeah. Howard was not a trick. It was for about, nice about a week. Yeah, he, he stayed, stayed pretty much the whole time. Yeah. He, he really did literally camp out there. Yeah. Not even exaggerating. No. There was like a... Like the, I was sad when Howard was gone. And it was funny because we like to go to bat the car out of the driveway. Yeah. And Howard like would just like walk into the yard, car would leave, and Howard would walk back into the pond. Yeah. And we'd watch him do it in the rear view. It's like, yeah. yeah, okay, okay, you're done moving. Okay, I'm going back into the pond. Yeah. It's like... So yeah, the road needed some repairs. Yeah. It needs work and it still does. Yeah. Um. So long story short... Uh, in early it's June. Too late for that. Too late. I know. In June, they started work on that section of Anson that was getting incidental road repairs. You can't see the air quotes I'm doing. You can't. But I hope you, can you can hear, hear them. them. <laughs> and to my surprise, they went in and tore the motherfucker out. Yeah. There's no polite way to say what they did. No, I mean from the sidewalks into the yards. Mm-hmm. Some of the yards um, got torn up, too. and Well, in New Orleans, I don't know about elsewhere, but in New Orleans, there's an easement. Right. Which says, basically, from the road to five feet into your property, yeah. there's an easement that they can do whatever the fuck they want to your property, basically. Yep. And our, our yard is also marked for about five feet in. About. Thereabouts, yeah. 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 Thereabouts. Um, 
And so basically what they did is they went and with the, with all this destruction equipment, it's not construction equipment at this point. No, it's destruction. <laughs> I think you had it right. Um, they went and they tore out the sidewalks, the curbs, and the road. Yeah. Everything. And they left behind just dirt. Yeah. Just dirt, rebar, wooden stakes. Yeah. And construction equipment. Like, yeah. Like backhoes and... Yeah, boards Boulder, bulldozer, and yeah. nails. And, and, and it was it's... not only undrivable, yeah. but it was completely unwalkable, realistically. Yeah. Like, if you wanted to traverse Anson, you had to go through the yards. Like, six feet in it from the road, the road yeah. was. Um, or walk down the middle of the rain, main road. Yeah, and basically walk through the mud and the holes and the divots and whatever yeah. the fuck else they put there. Yeah. But there is no, there was no sidewalk to speak. No, of. there was, there was nothing. It was undrivable, was unwalkable, and we're like, okay, yeah, there, isn't that what they're doing to the, the Vivian? But we didn't think much about it at the time. And this was back in June, early June, yeah, yeah, early June. Um, early June. This is when this happened. Um, now, spoiler, <laughs> yeah, that section of Anson is still unfinished. Yeah. And we're recording this early in the morning on September 23rd. Yeah. And we're talking about like 11th of June or so. Yeah. When they actually did this. I, I don't remember the exact date. I don't have it in front of me. Um, I'd have to go through my iPhone and find the photos. Yeah. So I took pictures of every step. Yeah. Um, but I don't have it in front of me, but it was June, to best of my recollection. Mm -hmm. Well, a few weeks later, they come for Vivian. Yeah. Now... And since Vivian is a horseshoe, like I described, right? Um, the way I choose to think about it is there's a north side and a south side. Mm -hmm. We are on the south side. Right. Um, and the long story short, they started on the north side. Mm -hmm. They came in and they did the exact same thing to the first half of Vivian Court. Yeah. All the way right to the peak. Yeah. Came in, they tore out the sidewalks, they tore out the curbs, they tore out the street, they tore out everything, and they left nothing but rebar, wooden stakes to mark things off, tape, yeah. whatever else they could find. And then they didn't do anything. And then they went and they did the same thing to the end of Huntley. Hunt, yeah, where it meets which a road called McCarg, which is the main road, yeah. So, and the main entrance to yeah. our, our It's area. where 90% of the people that come by our house come from. Yeah. So, yeah, they did it there, too. Um, and they did this, and we actually have the date on that one. They did that on July 11th is yes. when they started work on Vivian Court. Yes. Now, two weeks later, about a week later, not even two weeks later, like a week later, I said, we have to inquire about this. Yeah. Because you have to realize, by this point, in June, right, right at the time they were starting Anson, yeah. we put a new roof on our queue line. Right. And that was a mammoth project. Yeah. I think that was probably a bigger project than building the Q-Line structure. Definitely. And it was probably one of, if not the biggest, single haunt project we've ever undertaken. Yeah. I did not realize how much went into building a roof. Yeah. I have a new level of respect for roofers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, now, we do need to backtrack just a okay, little. Okay, go ahead. Because the original plan, mm -hmm. when Vivian was put on it, mm -hmm. said work would be begin okay, yes. in April 2018. Yes, this was way back at that first meeting. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so as soon as we got on the website, we said, oh, they're going to start work in April 2018. Nothing happened. I honestly thought that they had forgotten about us. So did I. So did that, I. That the money had fallen through or the contractor had quit or... Some bullshit had happened. It's New Orleans. It's totally believable. Exactly. That it wasn't getting done. Um, but anyways, getting back to July 2019. I wrote um, both roadwork.nola.gov, the people behind it. Right. And our city council person. Yeah. Wrote them both and said, um, okay, what's the ETA on this? Right. I, I need deets. I need information. Yeah. And a very nice gentleman got in contact with a contractor mm -hmm. that was doing the work and said, it's all expected to be finished by the end of September. Yep. To which I said, cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. 
we're going well, great. So we went ahead and dropped a few hundred more dollars. Yeah. On other haunt builds we had. Right. Uh, we build a doctor's table, a bed, a bar, yeah. uh, bathroom stalls, which are almost finished. Right. Um, and got some of the initial prep done for the new facade. Yeah. And we tore out the old facade and actually started gathering stuff for the new facade. Right. We've bought all the the uh, pressure treated wood for it. Yeah. For the, at least the framing. At least the framing. And we got to go back and buy the slats we're using. It's going to be very, very cool when we finish yeah. it, I assure you. Um, but we bought half the wood for it. Yeah. And that shit's just sitting up against our fence right now because we ain't got nothing else to do with it right now. Yeah. Um, so long story short, we really began. We had our actors come over. They helped us. Uh-huh. We uh, began the process of pulling it all together. And our haunt right now is more finished than it has ever been this time of year. Yeah. Hands down. Yeah. Not only have we completed the roof and the new queue line, four of the five big builds inside mm -hmm. are done. Yeah. They're waiting for paint and lighting. Yeah. And a few de and some detail work. Yeah. Um, which is huge for us because we have literally started October. We've been flyer. We have flyered the neighborhood yeah. with an empty garage before. Yeah. Which is not wise, honestly. That causes nightmares is what that does. Oh my does. God. <laughs> I remember dropping off a stack of flyers at Spirit one year. Uh-huh. And thinking that we had a completely empty garage. All of our panels were up against one side. Right. And fucking, like, panicking and breathing hard as I was doing it. Yeah. Like, okay, do you want to join this? Because this, you, you got to buy the little wristband from Spirit Leaf Flyers. I'm like, I'm buying it. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> do it yeah i'm, I'm fucking having a pan i don't have panic attacks i was having as close to one as i get there yeah um but no we are actually in a really good place to open if we had to um with a little help and a renewed conviction we could open probably in two weeks easy yeah, yeah. that's not even a problem no it's not that's not even pushing it i, I would say one week if we pushed it hard yeah, if I if I took off the last week of, of yeah. my of my current job. If we pushed it, we could do one week, two weeks easy. Yeah. So basically, you know, right now we've got overhead. We've got time. We can we could finish the haunt very easily to open. It's not us that's the problem here. No. We're more ready than I think we've ever been at this juncture in September. Yeah. Uh, we've got lots of new stuff. We have a few adjustments to make and a few things we have to do, but we're pretty good shape. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we get the message that'll be done by September. We jump on all these projects. We get the crew over. We get all this great help from our crew that yeah. uh, sometimes we've struggled to get in the past. Um, and we're kicking ass, taking names. We're feeling good about it. And I notice... The work on the other side of Vivian stops. Yep. They Nothing. tore it. They tore it out. They leveled out the dirt. Thank you very fucking much. And then it rained. And then it rained, and they level out again. Then it would rain again. And they level out again. And this process is just just because. Oh my baby Jesus! It's like, why did you start doing this in the rainy season to begin with? Yeah, yeah fuck me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. This is my exasperation kicking in because one of the things we're being told is the delay is caused by unexpected delays due to rain when you fucking started a construction project in summer in New Orleans where rain is the most predictable thing in the universe. Yeah, in fact... I think I summarized that pretty well. You did. In fact, they cut up our streets the day before... Um, yeah, Hurricane, Hurricane yeah, Barry was supposed to We didn't mention that. That happened. And it was Barry. Yeah, it was Barry. Yeah. Not Mary. Yeah. Um, it turned out to be barely Barry. But still, there was a threat of a hurricane. And when people they... were debating evacuating. Yeah. Because we had a high come... river event. Exactly. And we were worried about the extra tidal surge. Um, they came. And what they did is they, they did the thing where they cut driveways just with a concrete saw, it's a linear cut. Yeah. Right at the right at the easement. Yeah. Now our driveway is one of the stupid. <laughs> I, I fucking hate it, but it's the house we bought, so I can't say too much, right? Yeah. It's one of those with the dual, um, the two paths for the tires and a grassy section in the middle. Right. Ours wasn't deemed wide enough 
to cut. Neither was the sidewalk that leads to our front door or the little walkway. Right. None of that was wide enough. But all of our neighbors. <laughs> yeah, including one who had just poured a brand new. Oh, my new... poor God, poor Jose. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hang on a second. A, yeah, a moment was... of silence for Jose here, <laughs> you know. He was enough... out of town whenever oh my they God. cut it. He has been working so hard to renovate that house. He's yeah. been busting his fucking ass. Yeah. And he just poured a brand new driveway like two weeks before. Yeah. Not even. Not even. And they fucking come and they fucking cut it. Yeah. Oh, my God. If I were him, there'd be a, there'd have been a oh, shooting yeah. at City Hall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, there'd have been some shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because, yeah. I mean, if they were going to give him a new driveway, he didn't have to pay for it <laughs> to be redone. I Man, mean. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, but anyways, they horrible. came and they did all that, and so Ellie, being uh -huh. Ellie, called <laughs> Kristen Palmer, the city council person in City Hall. And, and what the fuck are y'all doing? There's a yeah. goddamn hurricane coming, and you're fucking cutting driveways. Yeah, exactly. Now, yeah, it's not making the driveway unusable, but we don't know that that's where they're stopping. Yeah, exactly. For all we know, the backhoe could be right behind to tear all that crap out. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, no, 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 we're not yeah, doing we're the We're already on edge. <laughs> yeah, we're already, like, twitchy about this. So, anyway, they do the north side of Vivian Court. They tear it out, and we don't see the progress. So I contact the city council. They say September, into September is when it's due to be done. Yeah. Fast forward to basically a few days ago now. Yeah. We're not seeing progress. They have laid the curbs and the sidewalk right. on Vivian on the other side. On the north side. But they've also done that on Anson. Yeah, and that was done on Anson over a month ago. Yeah, but there's no road. No, there's not. No road at all. No. And so, long story short, I go, what the fuck? I know, too late. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just think this should be a drinking game that people should have started at the beginning of this episode. Uh, anyway, I'm, <laughs> it's my drinking game. I'm fucking drinking. Um, but anyways... So what I do is I snap a bunch of photos of the pro the progress. Once again, another drinking game. Every time I do air quotes, you can't hear. <laughs> you can't that, see. Well, you can't. You can't. Well, you can't hear them either because they're, well, they're no. silent air quotes. I guess you'd need to do snaps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyways, I show photos of the progress. I'm like, hey, like, Latin, like back in July, you told me this would be done by the end of September. We're now September's 18 or whatever when I sent it. Yeah. This is the progress. What's going on? Yeah. Will this be done by Halloween? And I basically tell them straightforward, this is a safety issue. Yeah. Because my, and I admit one of my mistakes here was when I first contacted them, and yeah. I'm going to take my share of the blame here, I put it as, hey, we run a haunted house. We need to know if we can open. We're making financial investments here. Yeah. Um, and I thought that would be enough to motivate them to tell me the truth. Yeah, and it should have been. It should have been. In a civilized society, it would have been enough. <laughs> but we live in New, New Orleans. Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> and so basically, I'm like, look, this is a safety issue. We are expecting 800 people Halloween night, and most of them teens and children. Yeah. And they will be at various points in the road. Yeah. And so if that road is in any kind of state of disrepair... We can't open. What's the deal? And I had back and forth with the council people. This time it was the council people. Originally it was the roadwork.nola people right. responding. This time it's the council people. Back and forth. They basically say the contractor's returning on October 1st. It was implied it was to tear up our side. Yeah. And that our side will not be done by Halloween. But the other side will, the which other is where they thought we were. Yeah, because they don't know where the fuck 44 Vivian Court is. Yeah. Which is bad, because we worked our ass off to make sure that address was correct on Google Maps. Yeah. And everywhere else. And in yeah. fact, it's actually correct on the appraiser's website. I don't know why they thought... I don't know either. They're just... I don't know. If, if, you, if you look at their planning ability, or their ability <laughs> to look at, you know, schedules, or... Maybe their map it, map reading's about as good as their planning is what I'm saying. Yeah. So we basically have made the decision that we don't know what the status of a road will actually be on Halloween. No. I'm going to be clear about this. We could be total assholes here. They might not come on October 1st and tear up our roads. No. 
It could be they don't start our side, and therefore the court's complete and fine. Yeah, we tried to get an answer on that. They would not they even give us an answer on that. No. But since we cannot guarantee we'll have a safe road on Halloween, we don't have a choice. No. We really don't. Because, and, and we were talking about this earlier today, I, as much as I'm proud of the quality of the haunt we put on, yeah. I'm more proud of our safety record. Yeah. We have put 10,000 people through that haunt. Yeah. And we've never even had to pull out the first aid kit for a visitor. No. Actors are a different matter. Y'all motherfuckers are crazy. <laughs> well, and I'm speaking to y'all motherfuckers because this is a podcast <laughs> aimed at you. <ya. laughs> yeah. Well, okay. So, and even then, it's been minor and nothing. It's been skin knees and shit like that. It's been. And, and like one person had their own panic attack, but that's because they were new to haunting. Yeah. we've That was the scariest moment. Yeah. And that was an actor, like I said. Um, yeah. Yeah. And we've had uh, actors get minor cuts and scrapes, you, and not because we didn't plan the scare safe enough, but right. because they were being actors and got into the moment and did something that, and got somewhere they weren't supposed to be, usually. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, our safety record is impeccable and unapproachable. We have been amazing in this area, and this is one of the reasons I don't have any tolerance for unsafe haunts, because if we can fucking be ADA compliant fire code compliant and not fucking injure any of our guests you can too we have no money no budget no space yeah. no time two people building most of it if we can do it anybody else can it's just a matter of thinking about it no yeah, planning having and planning the right it. people making sure that everything is safe yeah i mean it's really that easy yeah yeah, I've got no patience for unsafe haunts because of that. Um, but part of that safety, part of that mindset is the abundance of caution. Right. And how many ideas have we killed? A Be lot. Because we can cock some fucking universe where someone could get hurt. Yeah, it, exactly. That is one of your superpowers. Yeah, I'm very good scenarios. at worst case scenarios. Yeah, I'm fairly good at it. This You're is why very you, good at it. This is why you hire someone with anxiety disorder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't 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 run the scare until I'm comfortable with it. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> and that includes um, hearing. Yeah. Oh God. Because we've been talking about this today, too. Hearing safety is my new jam. Yeah. Uh, because I learned, I in the past year, I've learned a lot about my ears, none of it good. No. Um, so hearing safety is my new thing. I have a severe eustachian tube disorder. I have um, issues with a bone between my brain and my ears. I've got all these problems. And if you set off an e-firework or something like that right by my ear, enough to make that little sonic boom or that, that compression, you could literally make me deaf forever. Yeah. So, like, maybe listen to the fucking warnings on the product, guys. I'm yeah. just saying. It's, it's yeah. literally on the product. Yeah. But that's, that's a later discussion. Yeah, it is. We're very proud of our safety record. And to maintain it and to ensure the safety of everyone who comes to our haunt... We don't have a choice. No. I can't guarantee the safety of the road or the environment. Right. Therefore, we have to cancel. Yeah. It's that simple. And yes. it kills me. Yes. Me too. Um, now, that said, there are things I that are worth noting. We've told this to our actors. We are, we're getting ready to make the announcement to the public shortly. Right. Um... We've made it to our actors, we've made it to other people in the community, but we're getting ready to make it to the public. Um, but the things I want to add to it are, one, we are opening in 2020. Yeah. Fuck you, I put this much work into this. Yeah. It's going to be the same theme. We're keeping the work we've done. Yeah, we're, it'll just be more detailed out. Than yeah, basically, usual. we've got now two years to work on this. Yeah. Shit's going to get real. Yeah. Maybe we'll put in that extra scare that I'm thinking about trying to figure out how to make it. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna open in 2020. It's going to be the same theme, same story that we were planning for this year, and it's going to be lit. It's going to be incredible. I'm excited about it. Yeah. I'm excited to see what we do with two years. Yeah. Item two on the list is we are still planning the Haunt Con tour. Yes. I don't know how this is going to go down. 
I'm going to mm -hmm. be honest. We're still figuring out all the details here. Um, but we're hoping to have at least a skeleton crew and be able to do the thing. So basically, if you come to Haunt Con and come to our haunt yeah. when the time comes, you're going to be the first people to see it. Right. And it is probably going to be that first Friday. Yeah. Now, I know that they've announced that they're going to do the tour of the mortuary that night. If you decide to skip on that tour, you're welcome to come here. Just let us know in advance so that we can plan drivers and transportation. Yeah, we're going to have all this coming up yeah. over the next few months. This is way early to get details on this, yeah. but we're planning to have the Haunt Con tour. We're excited about it, and you will literally be the first people on the planet to see this haunt. Yeah. So think of that as an exciting thing. Yes, and if you came by next uh, last year, it's a lot different. Yeah, it is. It already is. Yeah, yeah. There, there are no repeated scares. No, I don't think there are. Yeah, there's one possible repeated, but no, not not locked down. I'm just amazing. I just find it amazing that we built a bar <laughs> not to drink at. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, I'm putting a mini fridge under there. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we're awesome. <laughs> um, so long story short, yeah, we're opening for Haunt Con. And, yeah, I, shut up! <laughs> Sorry. Shut your fucking I asshole. I find some way to make this depressing <laughs> fucking episode. Yeah, anything. that's a good point. It's fair enough. So long story short, no. <laughs> Now I'm just doing the fuck with you. I know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So we're opening for Haunt Con. And we are going to do some things with our actors and our crew um, over the course of the year. We're also going to step up the recruitment campaign because we fully expect we're going to lose some actors this year. Not a judgment call. They're going to find other things to do. Right. And they might continue that next year rather than come back with us. Exactly. I understand. Yeah. That's fine. I get it. I would be in the same boat. Yeah. That's not a judgment. No. Um, so we've got to step up that. We've got to do a few other things. But yeah, we're coming back in 2020. We will rise from this. Um, there are some people out there that I know are going to go, herp a derp a derp. You trusted the city. Well, you're, what idiots you are. To those people, I want to say um, we have worked very hard to have a very good relationship with the city. Yeah. And it's weird. We're talking to another haunter today mm -hmm. about the issues they have with the parish they're in. Right. Trying to open things, home haunty stuff. And it's like, well, we've always had a good relationship with the city. Yeah. The NOPD and the NOFD both love us. Yeah. The the 4th District Commander knows us by sight. Yeah. Exactly. He knows our names. Yeah. Um, he says hi to us when he sees us at events. Yeah. Um, the NOFD, the fire department, they come through the haunt. Yeah. Um, yeah, we so have scared the crap out of us the first time they did that. But well, they do. My, look, uh, <laughs> NOFD, if by some miracle you're listening to this, and you're probably not. No. We love you. You are welcome to come through our haunt yes. on any night we're open. You're welcome to come through our haunt for a tour anytime we're not open. Please don't show up with a fire truck with the lights on next time. <laughs> Yeah. I might have pooped a little when I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, that was scary. That was the scariest thing of the night. Well, it was Maybe funny because I'm working in front of house, and um, I see them come up and park, and yeah. they parked right at the end of our fucking driveway with those lights on. Yeah. And I radioed you because we got the radios. I'm like, uh, Crystal? <laughs> you know, the uh, fire department's here. And you're like, oh, shit. We thought we were getting shut down. Yeah, and then we see um one of some of our, one of our friends and a couple of their firemen come up yeah. and walk up and said, "Hey, can we go through?" Yeah, and I can't remember his name for the life of me. Dennis. Dennis. Yes, Dennis. Oh, I was intentionally not saying the name. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it's not like people are gonna know. Yeah, who Dennis true. Is. Good point. Dennis doesn't even know we do a podcast. He yeah. used he worked one year in the haunt. Yeah, he he was an actor in the haunt one year. Yeah, he was all right. Um, he was yeah, fine, but he didn't show up again. So. Yeah. Uh, which is why he's only fine. If he'd showed up multiple years, it'd be great. <laughs> well, well, yeah, he he but, keeps saying that he's gonna he's gonna be there this year, and then he left us a a review that was not five stars. It's four. Yeah, but still, it brought down our rating. Yeah, from everybody like 4. else 9. gave us five. 
Yeah, fuck you, Dennis. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, not really. He's fine. I got no ill feelings against Dennis. But anyways, he shows up with a couple of the other farmers. Hey, can we go through? I've never let anyone cut the line before, but yeah. I let them. And I, I don't feel. And basically, the line's like, yeah, let him in. Yeah. The line's basically chanting for them, so of course I let them yeah, in. Yeah, they have the chief with them, too. Yeah, they had the local chief, and the chief got the piss scared out of them, too. He did. My dad yeah. did it, too. It's awesome. <laughs> Good memories. Yeah. But Yeah, because they were still trying to figure out how I got to the end from the beginning. Cause I, Which, honestly, it's not that difficult to figure out. It's not. <laughs> But I did. <laughs> it, well, okay, so that year we had it set up so that the the rabbit run had doors. Yeah. So it looked like solid yeah. walls. And in fact, there were two doors. You had to open up one side and push out the other. I've just decided we're never making another traditional panel again. They're all doors. Exactly. Every panel's a door. Exactly. Unless it's a scare, it's a door. That's that's just it. I mean, that's, a, that's what I've learned. That's, you know... Anyway. It's the cost of two hinges and a shim, basically. It's... Yeah. I mean, so it's nothing. But yeah. yeah, every panel's a door. We're making every panel a door from here on out, just, just to fuck with people. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, no, they were trying to figure out how I did that, and then Dad popped out from a hidey hole and scared the crap out of him. That was <laughs> awesome. It was. So, yeah, we've had good relationships with the city and the city agencies. We've never had a problem... We've worked very hard at building those relationships, and it kills me that this is what happened as the result of it. And part of what kills me, and look, I don't want to overstate who we are and what we do and our importance. No. But here's the thing. Every road in our neighborhood needs repair. Yeah. Name one that doesn't need repair, Crystal, go. You yeah. can't. <laughs> no, I mean, there's one, two roads over the one that all mm. the cops live on that have the nice houses that their manhole covers are actually coming out of the ground by some places eight inches. Yeah, enough to kill a car. For certain. Yeah, yeah, you have to be really careful on that road. Yeah, no, there's no road in our neighborhood that does not need repair. Right. Every road needs it. Yeah. Just flat, straight truth. Yeah. So why the fuck... Is Vivian Court, a court with about two dozen houses on it, yeah. getting a complete rebuild while other roads that are probably better traveled not? Yeah. And the re only reason I can think is they probably, as part of their algorithm mm -hmm. for determining what they're rebuilding and not, checked what roads were mentioned the most on Google and search engines. And yeah, yeah you do that in our neighborhood. Vivian Court is really fucking popular. Exactly. For one month a year, we're really fucking popular. I'm not saying we're the reason we're getting repaved. No. But we have to be a factor. Yeah. And I think that that's why it was originally scheduled for April. Maybe. But now it's being torn up August 1st. I mean, October 1st, apparently. Yeah. And, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. So... We've been forced to cancel the season, so here's what comes next. This podcast will actually be doing double duty. We're going to mention this podcast in a video we're putting out, yeah. and we'll be linking to it. Uh, we're going to do a short video and a short announcement on the Bernie Baxter page, probably sometime early this week. Yeah. Uh, we were supposed to do it this weekend, but we've been not in a good place to do it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to mention this podcast as a, sort of the more detailed version of what happened. Right. Um, got to contact the news media. We've got to contact the news media at the same time. I've got a list of the addresses. I need to, I've been compiling that. Because here's the thing. Since July, when they dug up the other side, I've been kind of low-key preparing for it. Because, hey, anxiety disorder. Yeah. My bag is worst-case scenarios and preparing for them. Yeah. Just saying. Sometimes it pays off. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so we'll do that. And we're still debating whether or not we do a yard display. We have a really fucking funny yard display in mind. I want to do it so bad. I think we can, and I think we can keep it close enough to the house that it won't interfere with any of the construction. But yeah, there's two problems with it. One, we don't want to give people the false impression we're opening the haunt. Right. And two, that easement issue <laughs> comes to mind because... Our yard display traditionally goes right up to the sidewalk. 
Yep. Now we got to think about the fucking easement and what we're doing. So, no, but we were going to make fun of road work. Uh, it's, yeah. It's going to be hilarious. It's, yeah, I've got miniature dump trucks. And <laughs> and we got an idea of like a fake water main break in the middle of our yard. It's some gr- And it's an all-skeleton crew. Oh, it's yeah. It's hilarious shit in our head. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. I am excited about the idea, but if we don't do it this year, we'll do it next. But we're going to have to figure that out for actually doing it. Oh, well, I'm, um, I'm thinking that if we do it this year, we have to have a big fucking sign that says... No Halloween this year because of the fucking setting. Yeah, and that's the next step for me after I do the emails and the video right. is getting a bunch of fucking snipe signs to put out and prepare for the closure. And one of the things we're doing is on Halloween night, our busiest night, we're going to position ourselves at the intersection of Vivian and Huntley, intercept cars that are trying to turn down it. We're going to give them treat bags yeah. and cards for next year and tell them, look, we're sorry, this is why we closed. Yeah. Um, it isn't safe and plead our case and tell them to please come back next year. And then at 10 p.m. when we would have closed anyway, we're going to go probably get drunk somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Because you have off on the first. I'm taking off on the first. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, so that's the plan tentatively now. Plan, card subject to change. Yeah. You know, I don't know if this will be the plan in about a month. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. And we just crossed the 50-minute mark. Mm-hmm. So I guess I tell the story it's about the supposed naming of our court. Yes. Because I promise I would try to end on a happier note. Um, okay. So here's the story as it's been told to me by about a dozen people. Um, it's in the realm of urban legend. Mm-hmm. But I have heard it, like I said, from a dozen people or so. And it's definitely a local area thing that people seem to believe it yeah um okay once again huntley goes north south vivian court goes east west off of it and loops back around upon itself then you have anson and then north of hanson you have a second court that looks exactly like vivian in shape called sullivan Mm -hmm. and it does the exact same horseshoe shape and comes back around now here's the thing this neighborhood only has two courts yeah it's a very big subdivision that was built at one time. Yeah. And there's only two courts right in the middle of it. Yeah, everything else is square. Everything else is relatively square, at least. Yeah, relatively. Straight Right lines. angle streets that don't dead end or court yeah. loop around, things like that. Yeah. It's got some floopity floops going on elsewhere, but it's not anything like courts. It's nothing right. like here. And if you look at it on a satellite, it looks really weird. Uh-huh. Our court really stands out in the neighborhood. Yeah. Maybe we can put a, a screenshot of it. Yeah, maybe. So you have Vivian and Sullivan Court. Mm-hmm. Now, the urban legend, the repeat, urban legend, mm-hmm. is this. Is that the CEO or some head of the company that was doing the actual development of the area. Because like I said, it was all built sometime in the 60s. Yeah. Um, when they laid out the road, when he laid out the road, he had... Two mistresses, <laughs> one with the first name Vivian, one with the last name Sullivan. And he made the courts where they are to resemble boobs. <laughs> if you look at it from the satellite, it looks like a top view of a girl with a very impressive rack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> and the, the urban legend is they are named after his mistresses. And they're meant to look like boobs from satellite because it, I guess you got a fucking chuckle from it or something. I don't yeah. know. Um, That's chuckle worthy. It is chuckle worthy. So yes, apparently Vivian and Sullivan are shaped like boobs and named after uh, mistresses for the guy that developed the area. Yeah. That's the, and if they're not, that's the story we're sticking with. <laughs> and so it's is way the rest better of than our, it's <laughs> way better than whatever the truth is. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we're sticking with it. But no, I've heard that so many times since I moved here. Yeah. In fact, when I moved, said I was on Vivian Court once at a bar, mm. uh, someone said, "Oh, you're on one of the booby courts." <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah. It's like the booby courts. What? The... No. Oh, look at it on the map. It's, it's and then tilted. This yeah. a booby. It's a pair of boobies. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I bet you didn't expect that turn in this podcast. <laughs> oh man! Now, now, now everyone's racing. To roadwork.nola.gov to look at the booby courts. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you. 
Well, I think that's all we have on this episode. It is. You know what? It's a good time to end it. So we're just going to do that now. Uh, thank you very much for... If you if you made it this far, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> no, thank you. Yes. No, seriously, thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah. Putting up with our depressed and half-drunken asses as we try to get through the very, very complicated series of emotions we're going through right now. Yeah. We've been doing this since 2005, and to have this happen in 2019... Yeah. It's... It's not easy to accept. I don't think I have yet. I don't think I have either. Yeah. I know I haven't. I mean, I'm talking about it now, and my brain is still going, well, we need to fix the um, the, the, the bathroom stall f- facade we're doing, because mm-hmm. <laughs> my brain's yeah. thinking haunt stuff like we're opening in a month. Exactly. Well, I, I had to keep correcting myself whenever talking to the other haunter earlier today. Yeah, doing an interview, yeah. Doing interviews, because I'm, I'm like... <laughs> Oh, we got to do this and we got to do that and and oh for next season. No, ne- it's next season. Yeah, it's not this season or January at the at the uh, earliest. Yeah, because yeah, we're we're hosed. I mean, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely do something for for Hong Kong, as we said. But, but yeah, I don't think I've accepted it, and we're still trying to work through all the complicated emotions. We appreciate you joining us on this group therapy session <laughs> yeah. sorts. Yeah. Um, you can definitely find happier episodes at hauntweekly.com. We're also Haunt Weekly on Twitter, Haunt Weekly on Facebook. TinyURL.com slash Haunt Weekly is our YouTube channel. All the previous episodes, including the happy ones, are there. So if you need an uplifting moment, uh, go check that out. Um, you can also find us on Google Play, iTunes, and Stitcher. We will be back next week with episode 200. That is guaranteed to be fun. Yes. Because we've got a lot of retrospective to offer. I'm excited about this. I'm really happy to be doing that. Um, but until next time, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was a very depressing, and I'm sorry about that, episode 199 of Haunt Weekly. We will be back next week with episode 200, which we are super excited about, including a giveaway. Yes. You'll have to answer a question. There is a quiz. Yes. But if you answer the question right, you get a gift. Um, Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys then.